Okay, this is a quick response to um, the amazing atheist. Jesus is Aquaman. Okay, first you have Aquaman. Right? Uh, he is the son of a marine biologist, and he was brought up in Atlantis, which make, gives him the ability to breathe underwater. Um, he's also able to control fish via sonar from his head, and um, he is able to make them do his bidding. And then you have Jesus. He's a person who um, we all know his origin story, of course, and he uh, hangs around with a bunch of fishermen. Now, fishermen, they go to the river and they pull fish out of it in order to eat them. Now, he's, he's able to control the fish, yes, but he's only able to control them enough to make them go into the fishermen's nets. And he's also able, if I get this um, correctly, if I remember the Bible from when I used to believe in that nonsense, he is able to make two fish stretch to feed 5,000 people. Well, two fish and five loaves. So, who is this Jesus person anyway? He hangs around with these fishermen, as I said. He, he, um, he doesn't even go in the water. What he does is he goes up to the water, right there, and he walks across it. And then he goes to the wedding and turns it into wine. And the fish can't swim in wine. They get drunk and they drown or get drunk and start floating upside down and, and die. So Jesus is definitely not Aquaman. He's more like one of those backup supervillains. Um, one of those ones where, uh, where they get him out when, um, when the, uh, they risk the main supervillains burning out. He's not so much a, a Joker or Riddler, more like a, an Egghead or, or Bookworm or Zebra Man. You know, one of the lesser known supervillains. And I mean, he even has the trademark of all supervillains. He comes back from the dead. I mean, they, they gave him a public execution. A public execution, and they nail him to a, a big piece of wood, and they put him in the ground and put a rock on top of the grave, and he doesn't even stay dead for a, a year or so. He stays dead for a Saturday. And then he comes back to life, and then he has people sticking their fingers in his side to prove that he's not dead. And that's supposed to be coming back from the dead. He doesn't go and, and take over the world, except they do say that he's going to come back anyway. And, and But he's taken a really long time to do so because it's been 2,000 years. So I don't think he's much of a, a, a supervillain at all either. I mean, I mean, if, he's gonna, if they're going to take this long to, for the writers to, to bring him back, I don't think he's coming back at all. I'm dangerously talented and I don't have a cool sign-off.